It's me again, subscribers. Today, this has only been a minute long. Um, in the past, I do love fried bentus pies. You know? I do love them. But the trouble is, when they're cooked, it's bloody trying to get out the tin when they're hot. And I've had these ages and ages and ages. But what I found it, what I do now, is how I remove a pie from a tin without getting it all over the floor and burning my hands. I will show you how I do it. Don't forget, please subscribe, like, and tick that little notification box so you know when I'm going to come on and start doing bits. Don't forget. Here we go. I'll show you how it's done. So, here I go. This is how I remove a fried bentos pie out of a tin. I don't know how you do yours, but this is how I do mine with no trouble at all. First things first, free the pie from the tin so it don't stick. Some people don't like these pies, but I love them. But this is for my son's dinner. Hello. And what I do now, I lift this up, I lift this up, stick it underneath, let it go. And what I do, I lift this up, put it there, leave that as it is. And with the pair of pliers, what I do, so I don't burn myself, I used to use a cloth. And the cloth went into the pie, got all messy, and what I do is get one of these, stick that over here, and get the bloody meat. This is a minced beef and onion. This is a minced beef and onion. Look at that. There you go. Clean the whistle, stick the pie in the bin, stick the rubbish, and then what I do next is lift it up, stick the pie on the pot in the mincemeat, and there you go, hassle free. That's how I do my pie. As I said, these pies are pain in the bottom. To get a tint. I don't know how you do yours, but this is how I do mine. And so easy. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. More tips coming up soon. See you later. Um, my next subject could be later going to sea fishing tackle. My way I do my traces. It's probably a, a, a real flatfish rig and a few hints and tips what I use. Thank you. Bye. Enjoy.